Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ian. This channel is all about music and art. And at this time of year, this is July 2024, I am in the throes of planning my trip to Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Now, if you've seen the channel before, you'll know that my wife and I, Jane, we go to Edinburgh Fringe every year and we go as reviewers. And I am right in the middle of planning our uh, the shows that we're going to see. Uh, so far we're going for 12 days so we're going to and we've scheduled 35 shows so far but what I thought was would be really good was that there are some shows that we've seen in previous years that we would like to recommend again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our uh, reviews uh, I'm going to update them put the new new details on so that you can have a look at them Good evening YouTube, Hello. it's Ian and Jane, we're at the Ed Fringe, this time is 24 minutes past 7, we've just seen our second show of the day, which might be our last, we haven't quite decided, we're having a bit of a slower day today, because every, every day has been pretty much full on hasn't it, but uh, so, and this was an evening without Kate Bush, now uh, the reason we went to this is because we went to this lady's, Sarah Louise Young, and we went to her other show, which we've reviewed and you can see down below, called The Silent Treatment, which we loved. We thought she was amazing. And we thought, we'll just go and see her do Kate Bush. So I'll give you the little synopsis bit first. He says, how would, <coughs> excuse me, how would the hounds and dance on the moors? Kate's not there, but you are. Following its sold out 2019 fringe premiere, touring and a so Soho theatre season, the smash hit award winning show returns. Sarah Louise Young and Russell Lucas pay glorious homage to the music fans and the mythology of one of the most influential voices in music. You don't need to be a Kate Bush fan to be transported into something very special. And, well, that was it really. I mean, you know, she, she did, she asked us who were the super fans or what was it what were called, the, fi the fishies. The fish. The fish. Find that's I, I didn't know this. I mean, I am a Kate Bush fan and, I'll, and I always have been, but not a super fan. I didn't know that they were called the fishies because of a record label. No. No. We didn't know that, and there were obviously people in there that had, were be, had almost being dragged along because um, you know who were not necessarily kept back from. But everybody was everybody was included. Included, it was brilliant. Um, it was practically packed out. Yeah, um, and it wasn't just Sarah standing there just singing. I mean, there was it's so. Not a, it's not a tribute act no, in the traditional sense. So much more than that. Yeah. It's a because, real piece of theatre. Because she told stories about yeah. Kate Bush, yeah. um, and like Ian said, you know, she went round the audience mm. and spoke to a couple of people, and then through the show, um, she invited some of those people she'd met onto the stage yeah. for various reasons, yeah. which we don't need to go yeah. into. But it was non-threatening, yeah. and um, and it was just great, absolutely fun. delightful. And her voice is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she's absolutely superb, and she's incredibly funny. Yeah, I mean, she she had a fantastic rapport with us. I don't know how big the tent is. It was in the um, Assembly George Square Gardens Piccolo tent, um, but a good, a, like I say, pretty much full. Um, uh, but it was she was she had us all waving and singing and along, doing and um, you know back um, ba backing vocals, backing vocals. Yeah, and, yeah, it was um, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and then at the end, she ran up the stairs, yeah. and then when we got out, um, she's doing selfies with people, yeah, and, and loads of people were waiting yeah, just because yeah. they wanted to speak to her, um, and I had a 
a Kate Bush story, but there were just too many people in. Well, tell you, tell, because so Louise may see this, so tell All people right, the okay, Kate Bush story. Okay. My, um. <laughs> sorry, building it into something it is not. <laughs> um, I went out of the country um, in January, beginning of January 1978, came back, uh, I went to Italy for three months, and came back at the end of March that year, and suddenly in the charts was this woman called Kate Bush doing Wuthering Heights. And she literally, she wasn't there in the beginning of January. Yeah. And when I came back, she was the, you know, and that, that I've never forgotten that. Did because he went to number one, I think, didn't he? I think it was yeah, number one, because yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. what? Top Who? of the charts. What is this? What is this? Yeah. Um, Wuthering Heights. She yeah. was everywhere. Yeah, it was so, brilliant. But you, you'd never heard of her. I'd never heard of her. That's brilliant. That's yep. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely worth going. Like I say, I don't do normal tribute acts, and this is not a tribute act. This is a fantastic... It's down as cabaret and variety uh, in, the, in the Fringe programme, but it's a fantastic piece of theatre. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And in fact, we won't get a chance because we're coming to our end of our Fringe Odyssey, but she does another show about Julie Andrews, and I'd like to see uh. that as well. I would like to see that. Because I think that. it's yeah. truly Madly Julie, I think it's called. Right. Don't quote me on that, anyway. Um, I just loved it, I thought it was brilliant. There was nothing no, nothing not to like. She's mm. incredibly hard working. She's uh, very, and I mean, very watchable. It's not, ju you know, it's, she's changing costumes, she's dancing, she's she's doing all that. She's she's really researched it really well, actually, because she's doing bits, I thought you probably didn't notice, but bits of videos. Oh, right, you no, know. I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah there's, okay. little, there's little bits, of, you know, and, and all of that sort of stuff. You know, when she put the, she put the mask on, Mac on and the hat, yeah. I thought she was going to do them, them heavy people. No, she didn't, but, you know, but she was doing little bits of that. So that if you've seen the videos, right, okay. you, you'll, you'll pick up on those little bits, which is quite, actually quite clever. It's mm. brilliant. Um, an interesting thing happened just at the beginning where we... We were sat down and some people came in after us and they brought food in and one of the guys putting people to their seats said you're not allowed to eat in here which we've been at other things where and the one that comes to mind was when we did the late and live somebody bought a full thing of fish and chips in and i'm sorry you don't bring that sort of stuff into venues no you know, but what it, makes you think it's okay to do that? Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's actually quite disrespectful for what you're about to see. You know. True. I mean, so I mean, obviously, you're allowed to bring drinks in, and they're all brought in, in, and all that sort of stuff. But don't bring your fish and chips in, or your wrap, or whatever it was. You know. But yeah. anyway, that was just that's just an aside. So uh, a bit more etiquette from certain people. Anyway, doesn't detract from the show. How many stars? Four. Four for me too. I thought she was brilliant. Well done. Sarah Louise, fantastic. Brilliant. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you found that review useful and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now. Bye bye.